Information circulating online that the government is planning to reinstate a circuit breaker is false, said Deputy Prime Minister Lawrence Wong in a Facebook post on December 11. He also said posts and messages showing him endorsing commercial products were deep fakes. These are all falsehoods, DPM Wong said, urging the public to stay vigilant and discerning online. In 2020, the government introduced a circuit breaker to stem the spread of COVID-19. Singapore is seeing an increase in COVID-19 cases. In the week that ended on deck second, 32,035 people were diagnosed with the virus, the highest number of infections recorded up to that point in 2023. In the week of November 19 to 25, the estimated number of local COVID-19 infections doubled to 22,094 from 10,726 in the previous week, MOH said in a statement on December 2. There have been at least four other instances in 2023 when public figures were impersonated. In November, Senior Minister of State for Manpower Cole Po Kun alerted his followers to a fake account on Instagram impersonating him, copying his posts and captions. Fake WhatsApp accounts impersonating Defence Minister Ying Ying Hen were also spotted in October. In September, Health Minister Ong Yi Kang and Minister of State for Home Affairs and Social and Family Development Sun Shuoling were hit by fake social media accounts impersonating them. And like Mr. Ko, they also had their photos and posts reproduced. That month, Bishantoa Peo GRC MP Saktiandi Support alerted followers to several fake accounts on Instagram using his profile photo and versions of his name. At least three Instagram accounts and a Facebook account were made using versions of Mr. Saktiandi's name. In 2017, the Straits Times reported that at least 13 People's Action Party politicians, including Mr. K. Shanmugam, Mr. Chan Chan Singh and Ms. Tin Pei Ling, were affected by fake social media accounts impersonating them.